track. Oh, it opens up heaps. Look at this. Yeah, as I was saying, it was an old road, so probably a pretty decent track for a bit of it. See how we go. So what are we looking at with this one? Where are we going? Um, we're going to Platypus Lagoon first, if we can find that, hopefully. Yep. And then we're off to Forgotten Falls. Um, so this one we walk for about... Oh. We walk for about four kilometres until we reach a fork and path. And we're going to go left. Sounds like a creek to the right hand side. Pretty good track though, better than I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of downhill but look. We've done about one kilometre so far. Yep. Oh yeah, wrap time. Meat, cheese, and pickles. Oh, that's slippery. <laughs> we predicted a fairly slippery track today, so we've got the poles just to help with a bit of traction. Had a fair bit of rain up here recently. It should make for an awesome display in the falls, hopefully. It's the best time to do these sort of things. Not always all year round that these falls are flowing, so got to make the most of it. Oh, yeah. An animal trail? Oh, yeah. Could be pigs or... Oh, Betty melon maybe, I don't know what they got them here. A bit of tree fall. Should have brought the secateurs. One point six. Mm -hmm. Just a marker here, which is interesting. What do you got on yours? One point five. Okay. Similar. <laughs> a bit of bush bash in here, but look. That'll be right. But yeah, second test would have been handy. Yeah. It's always good to contribute to a bit of track maintenance. <laughs> you know you don't. So it makes for good footage. <laughs> yeah. Back on the track. About two k's in now. I reckon roughly. Pretty easy going still. <laughs> you got a big spider web then. There's another one. Oh. You should get it. It's actually got a spider in it too. I'm glad I didn't hit that one. Oh yeah. Right, spider web, spider web. Your turn to get the spider webs. Is that why you wanted me to go first? <laughs> well, I mean, no, but. Um, it, is a it is definitely an upside to walking second, not having to get the spider webs. Because they are plentiful here. A lot of bugs in the rainforest, so a good spot for a spidey. Drop it. Oh. Did it get you? <laughs> In the face. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Bloody hell. Covered in them. <laughs> Gotta walk like this. Yeah. Just at the three kilometre mark now. Sitting at about 886 metres of elevation. One thing we noticed when we climbed to the top of Pluma Range, we were sitting at about six to seven degrees cooler from the coast that we came from. 
So yeah, beautiful this time of year. Sneak up to Pluma Range and avoid the heat. Enjoy some of the swimming holes and, they, spider and spider webs. <laughs> and maybe even have a little swim in a waterfall if you can find one. Yep, definitely worth getting out and getting off that lounge chair and getting active. You! You! Get it done. A bit clear in here. Maybe an old camp or something. Just noticed a heap of bit of timber, cut timber down here. I mean, I don't imagine there'd be milling here, but more than likely had a little house or bloody loggers camp even, maybe. Back in the day, definitely a big cleared open section, as you can see. There you go. Okay, traverse track. About 3.4 k's in now. Start keeping an eye out. I don't know how accurate these things are, so we'll start keeping a bit of an eye out for the offshoot down to Platypus Lagoon. Can't wait. Swimming a wrap. Be so good. Or a strangler. Oh, just ate a spider. <laughs> Need a bigger spider than that to sort this hunger out. Oh, she's stuck in there. No, I'm not stuck anymore. I was stuck. She was stuck in there. Ah. <laughs> Quick, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, we're nearly on the 4K mark, so we're very alert now, looking for little offshoots. Not really sure what we're looking for. I'm saying, phew, another big spider web. Jesus. Spider would run up my nose. <laughs> another 200 metres, I reckon. Little bits of sunshine, but mostly shade along this track, which is pretty good. Yeah, this time of year after the rain, though, plenty of humidity. Make sure you bring lots of water. Stay alert for snakes. Usually a few of the red belly blacks up here. Haven't seen any today yet, but um, yeah, definitely been on on the watch for them. You see, we've come out of the rainforest into this. So it looks like a eucalypt forest. It's a lot drier. Oh, this is interesting. That looks like the old K reverse, traverse track. And this is the, I dare say, this is the walk up to oh. Platypus Lagoon. Let's have a quick check of the kilometres. Well, I'm at 3.9. I'm at 4.1, so one hour's walking time, which is spot on from what you yeah. said. Yeah. Yep. Can do math sometimes. Yeah, look, yeah. Right, oh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Like any good track where you want to find water, generally there's a bit of climbing involved. Looks like we got the big descent down, which should drop us straight down into that creek line and hopefully straight into Platypus Lagoon. But just means we've got to get back out of this. Mm -hmm. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> That's right, the old principle. Beautiful little part of the forest though. Cool again. Yeah, cooler again. Dropping out of that eucalypt forest. Doesn't matter where you are in Australia, where there's rainforest, generally at the top of the ridge lines, you'll find some eucalypts. Most prone to fire. A lot drier at the top. Yeah, looking forward to seeing this lagoon. I don't know whether Platypus Lagoon was named because it had platypuses in it, but there's certainly 
Platypus is native to this country, a little bit further up the road at Hidden Valley. There's native platypuses. Or platypus, I don't know, are they platypuses or platypus? I don't know. Platypi? I don't know. Platypi oh, you are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, hopefully all the same. It's, there's definitely a possibility. We we're talking about fire there before. You can see that. See there are remnants of a fire that's been through here. Even though right now it looks rainforesty and we're still pretty close to that ridge line, so yeah, fortunately it must have been a while ago and all this has bounced back pretty good. Yeah, we can see we're really dropping down now. Could possibly hear a faint bit of water. Although, it could be the wind. Sometimes pretty hard to distinguish. But you hear the track's definitely a bush track now, that's for sure. This is what we like. This is our jam. Our jam, jam. Pump it up, pump it up. So we can hear water now. Hear the water and uh, we can just also see the other side of the hill going up on the other side so we know we're not too far off now. Big old tree. Got a couple of fires inside it there. Big fella. Hmm. Well, certainly getting steeper, but we can hear the water heaps stronger now. Pretty exciting. We're getting close. Yeah. I did say it was a bit of a scramble. <laughs> it was a proper scramble. Scramble, look at that. You didn't tell me that. Oh, I got to tell you, sorry. <laughs> I knew you'd be fine. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Complaining's alright. Not doing it's not alright. Yeah, at the bottom. You can see how steep it is there. What do you reckon? It's going to be interesting on the way up. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yep. We can hear the water. Nice little flat section. Oh wow, what a creek. So yeah, we just obviously got to this creek. Um, I think we both sort of thought that the creek would be flowing the other way. Um, but no, that's no not. But I think I can see Platypus Gorge. Oh yeah. Yeah. The track actually goes that way, but I'm assuming that that's to the falls. So how about we duck down and have a singer down at the Platypus Lagoon? Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just sitting here having a little wrap. Rhonda is de-leaching. Oh my god, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, needless to say, there's a lot of leeches on this little trail. But, um, wow, look at this, well worth it. Three hours later. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I'm not very good at creek crossings. There you go, all right. That was good. Might have smashed the other one at the falls. <laughs> Should have brought some snacks as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's a nice walk actually. Except for that climb out of here, I reckon it'd be pretty good. Yeah, they're very well placed. <laughs> <laughs> Just continuing along the trail, apparently another 700 metres from Platypus Lagoon. See what we can find. Continuing the ascent out of Platypus Lagoon. Wasn't on the brochure. The ascent, so anyway. Oh good, we don't mind. This means we get to go back down it on the way home we've got a bit of energy we had a wrap surely the still will go down over the other side we will see it's at the top of that little section different little forest again some sort of, I don't know, some sort of forest Plenty warm up here. Lots of rock sheets like that. We're still climbing. Now if you want to know what slippery looks like, this is it. That is slippery. Just tread on that rock, yep, and then onto the flat bit. Yeah. Be beautifully done, baby. So, that's where we've come from. This looks like a gorge all the way oh, through here. Over there. Over the falls. Like the big gorge yeah, I reckon it is. Let's go and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting very close now. Oh, you can just see it. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. So good. I think the track's there, but we might just have a quick look here. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Forgotten Falls! Woo! You won't be forgotten! You will not be forgotten! Woo! Okay, so we just made the decision to finish the last bit of this track and uh, that leads us to the top of the waterfall um, hopefully we can get the drone up real quick and have a look and we'll have to get out of here because um, yeah, it's getting a bit late obviously so let's uh, push on pretty steep little climb but hopefully it'll be all worthwhile Phew. pretty steep Say g'day! It's <laughs> uh, a waterfall where we just were having lunch. Top of Forgotten Falls. Won't be forgotten.
We're on our way home. Holy, look at the snake skin. Snake skin. He's only a little fella. Looks he's a like. Little bit bigger now. Yeah, he's a bit bigger now. And bloody dangerous, I reckon, too, that one. One last little glimpse. Forgotten Falls. You will not be forgotten. We love you. Made it back to Platypus Lagoon. Lagoon. Yeah. Whoa, baby. Jesus. <laughs> Did you just check to see if that was on then? No. About to make our way up Hell Hill. 300 metre scramble. And I'll be pretty deep. Look at that hill. You beauty. We love it. Stick down. Up we go. That's what we're talking about. I think that was the steepest bit. <sighs> Easy, eh? <laughs> yeah, quick update. We just smashed that hill. It was very decent. But we got it done. Probably about a 15, 20 minutes. Push. Something like that anyway. And yeah, constant burn. Lovely. But we're yeah, just about back on the cage reverse track. And that'll give us an hour push back to the car. Bloody beautiful. Topped up our water at Platypus Lagoon. Still got a Sanger. Life's good. <laughs> Here we are, the cage reverse. Woo! Whoa, he fell into it. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> What's up? Smashing that little section. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Would you mind getting my leech, please? My leech. Why did they just get me? I don't know. Alright, right, let's go. Back to the car. Okay. Four Ks to go. One hour, let's do it. We go old giant of the jungle. Oh, beauty. All right, I made it back to the car. Uh, what would we say, just over 12 Ks, just over four hours travel time. Well, you're pretty easy going really. It's that hill climb out of um, Platypus Lagoon. It was pretty decent, but other than that, it was alright, eh? Yeah, it wasn't too bad actually. Yeah. Just getting our last wrap out. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little wrap for the way home. But yeah, definitely um, worth checking out. Absolutely beautiful down there, and I'm sure there's heaps more exploring to be done around here too. So get out, check it out, and get amongst it. Take some rubbish with you. And take some rubbish with you. There's bloody bottles everywhere up here. You lost me.